Good morning friends. When we are going for FCU installation or design, you must know 11 important points. So we are going to see all those important points in this video. Let's start the video. So this is the uh, ground floor level of the high rise building. So here first you can see the district cooling pipeline which is given which is supplied to all the FCU like you see here the, these are the district cooling pipelines. So which is supplied to all the FCU. This is the first drawing. Coming to the second drawing. So here we can see the same floor level but in this case you can see from the same FCU the supply duct which is supplied to different different rooms so this is the second drawing. Coming to the third drawing this is the fresh air, uh, fresh air duct drawing that means the FAHU is there fresh air handling unit from the fresh air handling unit the uh, fresh air connection is given to the same FCU so there are three drawings we are going to discuss here. So coming to the first case you can see here FCU 03. And I am going to compare this FCU with this FCU for a reason. So this FCU supply to this bedroom 1 and this FCU supply to this bedroom. So coming to the duct drawing, uh, here you can see this one. So the same floor level drawing. So this is same, uh, this two FCU we are going to compare. So this is to supply to this bedroom and this is supply to this bedroom. And here the important difference between these two which I am going to tell you. So here you can see the chilled water or district cooling connection. So this pipeline is coming like this and which is connected with it. So this is the supply line. This is the supply side so this is connected to the left side of the unit coming to this unit here you can see this is the supply side so this is connected to the right side of the unit so here when it comes to material order we normally what do we normally consider only the uh, FCU capacity like a ton of refrigeration 1 ton 2 ton on airflow on coil temperature and we order the material but what I normally particularly do other than that one I see this one also for if you have the project with the 700 or 800 FCU all the 800 FCU I particularly see I need the connection for the chilled water in the left side of the FCU or right side of the FCU because that important thing here for example you see this connection which is coming like this and going to connect with the right side of the FCU but if I do it is order the FCU correctly at the right side of the chilled water connection what will happen I, what I have to do this connection I will take like this then it has to go like this again it has to go like this again it has to go like this so you can see how many fittings extra I want to procure for this item this uh, this uh, this one one two and three elbow I need instead of making only one elbow at this point I have to consider three elbow and additionally this much pipe I have to order extra if you see, if you assume that if you have a project with 500 600 FCU if you do if you don't consider this type of small thing that will make the additional of fittings pipes supports uh, everything so that is a unnecessary expense for you so you have to be very careful for this very important rule that you have to consider the FCU connection you uh, chilled water connection you need at the left side or right side Coming to the second point, here you can see we have the fan coil unit here and this is the supply duct connection which is supplied to this bedroom and coming to the return connection, we have the uh, return uh, register here. So from here the return is coming back to the uh, FCU plenum box. So here, here the FCU plenum box is there, you can see here. So this is how it is happening. So here you can see the total uh, flow rate. So there is like 282 liter per second. This is the tag number is FCU2 and both the supply register and return register, I have the size of 700 by 200 mm. Uh, from this direction you can identify this is the supply and also here the, from this one you can identify this is the return. So here the important point is here normally what we do so if here in this case we have the bedroom here and this FCU is particularly located in the bathroom. So we normally don't keep the FCU in the bedroom directly because it will when it runs uh, it creates some sounds and second thing if you want to do some maintenance we cannot disturb the people in the bedroom to open the uh, ceiling and to do the maintenance. So that is the reason mainly we keep the FCU in the bathroom. So here what normally the problem happens. So here you can see the supply duct which is going to this room and come to the return what sometimes the people do instead of return duct they will just keep the uh, return uh, register only like you see in this case this is the supply connection we have given but when it comes to return there is no duct only the, the uh, like a return register is given here so from the return register the air from the living room will directly pass to the FCU return but when it comes to this case what will happen if I don't keep the return uh, in this case 
let's assume that we have only the supply connection but in the return i keep only the return register there is no return duct so what will happen this fc is located in the bathroom when the return air is taken from the room to the bathroom and when this return uh, air is uh, taken by the fcu it will take the smell of the bathroom also so this time it will it will create some bad in, uh, indoor comfort so to avoid this one when when if you are placing the fcu in the bathroom particularly you make sure that you are pro, you are providing proper return air duct through the uh, return air diffuser and all this to the fcu so instead of making the free return as we saw now so we have to avoid this mistake to avoid the full smell entering into the fcu but in this case, this is not an issue because the FC is located in this corridor and this return duct, uh, this return air from this one directly will go to the this uh, FCU. There is no bathroom, nothing is there. So this is in this case this is not an issue. But if you are placing the FCU in the bathroom, you have to be make sure that you are providing proper return duct. Coming to the third important thing and the mistake mostly we do in the site here is taking the branch connection. For example, here we have the uh, main chill water pipeline. From here, I want to take the branch for this FCU. I want to take the branch for this FCU. I want to take the branch for this FCU. So when it comes to the branch take up, we have to consider three important things. I hope some of you might know this point weld outlet versus thread outlet. The first one in the above is a weld outlet and second one in the below is the you can see the thread also this is the thread outlet. So weld outlet can be used uh, for taking the branch with more than 50 mm and thread outlet can be used for taking the branch if it is less than 50 mm. Now I will show you two cases then you can understand what normally the, the side people do the mistake. So first coming to the case one the main pipe size is 100 mm and I want that I want to take the branch for 20 mm to connect with the one fan coil unit or mcu so uh, half of the main pipe size uh, pipe size here is 100 mm divided by 2 that is 50 mm so main pipe is 100 mm half of the main pipe is 50 mm i want the branch connection for 25 mm so that is for the fcu that means the required branch size for my, my fan coil unit is less than half so thread dollar i can use so here you can use thread outlet connection. You don't need to use the reducing T and reducer like that. You can directly use the thread outlet connection. And coming to the second case, here the main pipe size is 50 mm for example. And the branch pipe for the FCU I need 25 mm. So half of the main pipe size is 50 mm by 2 it is 25 mm. So that means the required branch size is half. So you can use the reducing T. So that is the difference of these two. So here the concept is from the main pipe size, if you are taking the branch size, the branch size is half and above, you can take the reducing T. When it is uh, less than half, you have to take the weld outlet or thread outlet based on the sizes. Yeah, sometimes what I see, uh, like in the first case, what people are doing in the top view, I am telling. So they will do like a reducing T. So this is the main line. This is the main line. This is the 4 inch. From the reducing T, 4 by 3, the reducing T. From the 3, again one reducer will come. So then the pipe will go. So here we are installing unnecessarily two type of fitting for the 4 inch to 25 mm branch connection. Instead of these two, you can simply install the weld outlet or thread outlet based on the size connection for the branch connection. That is the acceptable way of installation. And mainly it will save your material cost. Like you see in this weld toilet connection is the main line and we have taken the branches using the weld toilet and you have to do the welding. That's all. So this will save your time. This will save your money instead of making two or three uh, fittings like this. Coming to the fourth rule, here for example, this is the main line, I want to take one branch connection. So let's say this is the branch rule, branch connection rule. So let's say that this connection, this is 100 mm and I want to take a branch connection with 50 mm. So in this connection what we will do, for example this is 100 mm, I want to take the 50 mm. So normally what we do in this, here at this point, we will provide a reducing T, we will provide a reducing T. So from 50, from 50, 50, uh, sorry from 100, 100 and 50 mm, we will directly provide a reducing T. But what I normally recommend, the good engineering practice is the same example for uh, this one, this is 100 mm and I want to take 50 mm. What normally the good engineering practice is, instead of taking reducing T, by 50 mm we have to provide equal t first of all this will be like equal t 100 100 100 three side equal t 100 mm and after that you can provide the reducer here so this will ensure that the equal amount of flow is distributed to here and here first then we can provide the reducing t 
uh, we can provide the reducer so first equality then reducer instead of providing directly the reducing t so this is the this is not a compulsory rule but this is like a good engineering practice to distribute the flow in all the direction coming to the next point is the fcu installation clearance for example you can see this fcu we have installed at this point in the back side of the fcu very very limited space is available so normally you know that fcu has the filter that filter we have to clean randomly so if you have this type of very limited case uh, you to, you know, uh, we have to open the access panel in the ceiling then we have to do the cleaning so that will make some issue so to avoid this thing we have two option first of all coming to this type of uh, limitation uh, for, for, for example you don't have any other option you have to provide the fcu only at to some corner only so normally what happened coming to the first point the manufacturer will ask some recommendation that begin the fcu for example this is your room and you have the fcu here so the manufacturer will recommend some minimum distance from fcu to the wall so normally 50 or 60 centimeter or 500 or 600 mm we normally provide behind the fcu so this is the manufacturer recommendation we will follow and second Thing, coming to the fcu uh, filter clearance because uh, we have to open the access panel which is uh, the access panel will be here in the ceiling so we have to remove the access panel we have to go inside and we have to make the uh, we have to remove the filter from the fcu so the first case if you cannot provide the space in the back side you when you go for the order the material you have to make sure that the fcu filter arrangement you can make in the bottom of the fcu that option also available now it's not a rule that the fcu must have the filter in the back side if you ask the customers to want to the manufacturer you can make the fcu filter in the bottom of the fcu also so that option you have to make sure when you have the space clearance like this but it is the recommendation that at at least keep 50 cm behind the fcu uh, and uh, for the access panel and this type of installation then it will be looking a very good engineering practice in this video we discuss few important points and we still have few more important rules to discuss those will be continued in the next video thank you for your huge support and thank you for watching the video